Starfruit spam is one of the best strategies when your seed cells are limited, but what happens when Starfruit stops working? The roof using only one seed slot besides Crazy Dave's selection. This is the final stage of the challenge. I expect it to be harder than pool, but easier than fog. Let's see how it goes. The first roof level gave me Sunflower, Starfruit and Peashooter. Starfruit and Peashooter both suck on the roof, so I picked Cabbage Pole. Peashooter was actually useful because I could plant it on the last column pops, where it could attack the rest of the lane. But the cabbages were the most important part of the defense. Three columns of them and the level was done. The second roof level gave me Garlic, Snow Pea and Tallnut. After a couple of resets I got Kernel Pulp, Free Beta and Squash. Kernel Pulp was able to clump the zombies together for Squash to take out strong groups, and the level was fairly simple. The third roof level gave me Cactus, Tallnut and Kernel Pulp. I chose Sunflower, but at this point the flower pots were in such a limited supply that I was only able to get up two columns of kernel pots while retaining sun production. I sacrificed my sunflowers for more damage, and while the final wave didn't spawn any zombies in the lanes where I'd lost roof cleaners, the bungee zombies did, forcing me to restart. Clearly, kernel pot wasn't going to be enough. After resetting a few times, I got pea shooter, repeater, and melon pot. I picked sunflower, but without flower pots, the early game was going to be very tight. If I lost her all flower pots, I was dead. After a zombie ate a repeater, I was forced to restart. After getting four sunflowers, I was able to save for two repeaters for the first two zombies, after which I got another sunflower. I then managed to get a third repeater for the third zombie before I had to start saving for a melon pulp for the conehead. I was able to get two more repeaters for the next two basic zombies, but the conehead in the middle lane was able to get through without much resistance. I started again, but this time I was too greedy in the early game and ended up losing a repeater to a basic zombie. After restarting, I tried out with four sunflowers followed by a repeater. This time I got a fifth sunflower immediately instead of going for a second repeater. I was able to easily afford a second repeater before going in for a sixth sunflower. I was then able to get a third repeater just in time for the third zombie, as well as one for the fourth. The fifth zombie took out a flower pot, but from there a repeater was able to take it out. Having spent far more sunflowers this time, I was able to get a melon pot for the cone head again, this time replacing the lane repeater with the sunflower to assist my sun production even more. After this, the game was basically over for the zombies. I was able to continue setting up melon pops with my much stronger sun production, and I had two columns up by the end. Roof level 4 gave me split pea, kernel pot, and sunflower. I picked flower pot and was able to easily breeze through the early game with sunflower and kernel pot spam. Pogo zombies were scary, but manageable, and I was able to get up 5 columns of kernel pots by the second flag. Not even football zombies stood a chance. At the third flag, I somehow lost a roof cleaner to a pogo zombie, but my defense was strong enough for this not to be an issue. You know what was an issue? A pair of football zombies taking out my entire top row. At this point my defense was struggling hard. I had very few sunflowers to rebuild my defense, and the final wave took me out. If five columns of kernel pots weren't enough to beat the level, it was clear that I would have to reset. After several resets, I got three Peter, Sunflower, and Cabbage Pulp. Choosing Flower Pot, the damage from the plants I got was clearly going to be much stronger. Cabbage Pot's base damage is stronger than Kernel's, and while three Peter wouldn't work on the slope section of the roof, it would work on the flat area where it could do triple damage. Spamming Cabbages and three Peters, I was able to win without losing any roof cleaners. Roof 5 was the same as usual. Roof 6 gave me Snow Pea, Tallnut, and Jalapeno. After a few resets, I got Kernel Pulp, Pumpkin, and Melon Pulp. After using Kernel Pots for the early game, I was able to switch them out to Melon Pots once stronger zombies appeared. By keeping my sunflowers at the back, I could use them to absorb damage from my Catapult zombies. Two columns of Melon Pulps and the level was complete. The seventh roof level gave me Umbrella Leaf, Cherry Bomb, and Coffee Bean. After resetting twice, I got Potato Mine, Kernel Pulp, and Sunflower. Without Football Zombie to screw me up, Kernel Pulp Spam got its time to shine, annihilating the zombies with ease. The 8th roof level gave me Jalapeno, Kernel Pulp, and Marigold. For whatever reason, I thought the Jalapeno was going to be able to deal with all of the Gargantuas, with only two columns of Kernel Pulps. It couldn't. After resetting a couple of times, I got Flower Pot, Melon Pulp, and Repeater. I chose Sunflower, and unlike the last time I had Melon Pot and Repeater, I didn't have to use Repeater for every early zombie. I still did for some, though I let Coneheads pass through in order to not spend 300 sun on Melon Pulps. After leaking two roof cleaners, I got a column of Melon Pulps up. 
and was able to spam as much as I wanted, getting almost four columns up by the final raid. Roof level 9, the last level of the challenge. I had to deal with gargantuas, bungee zombies, catapult zombies, ladder zombies, and jack-in-the-box zombies. Neither star fruit spam nor cabbage pot was going to work here. After many resets I got split pea, flower pot, and three peter. While pea plants suck on the roof, three peter was strong enough to deal with zombies on the flat portion of the roof, giving me a lot of room to spam sunflowers. Unfortunately, by the third flag it wasn't enough, and I ended up letting an entire gargantua fight. After more resets I got coffee bean, melon pot, and sunflower. Without anything for the early game I licked three roof cleaners, but after that I could spam melon pot to my heart's content, beating the zombies with ease and finishing the final level of the challenge. Dr. Zomboss doesn't change, so this means the challenge is complete. It started out pretty easy, but worked up in difficulty. I was expecting Rift to be hard, but it ended up being harder than I expected. All in all, a good challenge, although resetting could get tedious at times. 